all right, so the next part of this, we like to do this with all of our guests that we've had on. <clears throat> They're just rapid fire questions. Some are golf related, some aren't. So whatever comes to mind, be as funny or as uh, yourself as you want. We had Nate had an interesting one. We'll we'll come back to it. Which was very, all right, all right. I'm still laughing about this <laughs> stuff. But um, so your first one, golf related. When you're putting, do you putt with the line on the ball? Like, do you pick it up and set it, or do you just like you're like, okay, ball sitting there, I'm gonna go. Um, ball sitting there, go. I, I let my lab putter do the work. Okay, nice. Cool. I respect that. <laughs> what is a TV or movie character that you most relate to? Um, probably Bill Murray's character in Caddyshack. I'm not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like I everything like that he that stands too. for, so I'm good with that. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you a blade or a mallet putter guy? Uh. In the middle, I guess. Uh, I, I've got a Scotty. My lab putter's technically, it's a mallet, I think, right? With the little, the Mez 1 yeah, Max yeah, yeah. there. So yep, technically yep. it's a mallet, but like if you look at like the Spider X2 or those kind of mallets, no way. So yeah, kind of yeah, a hybrid, yeah. I guess. Sure. Interesting. We, we should start a tally because what? We, we got to be close on mallets and blades, right? We I think there's a lot more mallets than I think blades. there's a lot more mallets. TJ hates really? mallets. It's very I have a mallet. Er, I hate blades. You hate blades. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I, for whatever reason. Like, it's putt, a whole different ballgame. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have a go a go-to golf ball, either a brand or a model that you, you like to use, like the feel of? I am currently using, incessantly, the MaxFly Tour S golf ball. Um, mm-hmm. It's one of those ones where I've tried. I've tried the Vice. I've tried Pro V1s. It's just not my feel, which I know is yeah. sacrilegious to say, but the even that <laughs> Pro V1X, I just it, they hit well, but it's the softness I think uh, of the Max Flies that just it allows me to get more spin, and I'm like, I don't know, it's weird. So Max Fly, if you're watching or listening to this, please sponsor me. <laughs> I buy your golf balls, but I would love to get some just sent to the channel. So uh, Max Fly Tour S at the moment for sure. Cool, hook the man up. Just hook him up. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Give him a sponsorship. The, need, the man needs it. Um, <laughs> All right, last one. So if you weren't golfing, what would you, else would you want, be wanting to do like with your life? Mm, honestly, the dream of being like a – I did the rock star thing for a bit. That's not an unplay anymore. It's, I don't like being on the road. Probably either a videographer, like a production company videographer, or recording engineer. I just love nice. sitting with people, fleshing out ideas, and using our creativity to like – get it on tape you know same thing with the videography stuff it's like sky's the limit and there's just so many cool things you can do with a camera these days that it's just Mm -hmm. endless creativity so you never get bored you might get frustrated but you're not going to get bored and (laughs) yeah so one of those two things probably how cool one of the one of the biggest things for me too um like if people that have never been in a studio or like in a musical recording session especially if it's something like where you guys are like you have the skeleton of the idea, but you're going through the process of collaborating with somebody that's not like that's just like the pro- the production part of it. It is right. such a cool experience that most people will never experience. Yeah. But trying to tell somebody about like how magical of a thing it, it could take an hour, it could take ten minutes, it could take nine hours, it could take a whole weekend. But or you could never get the point across the or feeling you, never, you can't, can't get there. It's happen, like it's but you guys had inimitable. Chinese and yeah. you had beers in the studio. Yeah, and you're like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, the yeah, best. yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Cool. Yeah, what's uh, what's one goal you kind of have for your own golf game this season then? Mm, so breaking 90 is always on the horizon, right? I think that's the first mm-hmm. handicappable thing we can maybe get through. Uh, I'm pretty yeah, yeah. close. I'm shooting like low, low 90s, like 92, 93. Um, cool. But I, I happen to have to be filming so much because – wife and four kids i don't get to golf as much as i'd love to so i don't get the yeah, yeah. the the video free rounds because i literally have to capitalize every minute i'm on a golf course so it's mm-hmm. i'm working at it just trying to keep the basically just trying to keep the club feel in my hands so that's one mm-hmm. thing yeah. um honestly i've already dropped a stroke in my putting thanks to the lab putter i'll totally tell you it is 100 percent the putter it is not me so it's like a point and shoot <laughs> camera dude Clearly. you just literally line up get your read and you go and i'm telling you i bought it i was 2.7, 2.8 per round, dropped to a 1.7 the first three rounds that I had it. Damn. Wow. So I lost literally a whole stroke in the first two or three rounds that I had it, which is crazy. So mm-hmm. um, I don't know if I can get better. I mean, I'm good with two putts personally, so maybe go down yeah. to like a 1.5. <laughs> I don't know. You know, any of us would be good with two putts. <laughs> I will take it all day. Um, so yeah. that's probably there. And then, yeah, I don't know. I think just just playing consistently as much as I can. So just 
shooting low 90s, breaking 90. Because I know, dude, once you get past 90 and you're like 89, it's really just a downward spiral of frustration because oh, yeah. I don't, I can't practice enough to get to 70. <laughs> to, like, it's not going to happen. Like, I'm never going to be a scratch golfer, and I'm totally cool with that. But if I can get into the like, mid to low 80s and, like, touch greatness here and there, that's totally <laughs> cool with me. And I'll be 58 before I hit a hole-in-one. I don't really, it's whatever is what it is. So, yeah, all that to be said, yeah, just kind of be more consistent. Um, and, yeah, just break 90 first off. Let's, let's get that off, out of the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good feeling. And then you get to the point, like, we both had rounds last year where we were shooting, you know, mid-70s, but it it's, like, once. And then we're, we sit mid-80s, and then it's like, why am I not? Yep. What is wrong with me? I shot a 74, <laughs> and a week later, I shot a 92. And I was like, I <laughs> is that not golf? Hate this. I was yeah. like, this Dude. game could bite my ass. Straight up. that Yeah, that's crazy. Like, I remember, so the lowest I've shot is a 92 at this point. And even that, like, okay, clearly you can see, like, where 90 would come into play. Like, 89, okay, a couple missed shots, for sure. Mm -hmm. I can see that. But where on earth I would lose, like, 10 strokes, there's no way. Like, I thought I was on fire shooting a 92. I was like, dude, let's go. Like, everything's connected. It feels good. <laughs> the club in my hand feels great. And then I was like, oh, 92. That's cool. And then you're like, yeah, I shot a 74. Yeah. I'm like, how on earth? Like, you're just playing boring golf. That's all you got to do, right? Just play boring but golf. Isn't that the – that's the best part about golf is the point of golf is to play the least the amount, least of, amount of, golf, of golf. Which is such a stupid concept. <laughs> Honestly, like, actually, the round before I shot the 74, I was – I shot, like, an 80-something, but I only used one golf ball. The whole round, and I was like, "Hell!" I was like, "That's, that's more sick. impressive to me than going 100%. below 80. I don't even give yeah, yeah. a shit. Like, I haven't I even yet to ball. do that. Yeah, I, le I left the course, and I was like, I was crip walking out <laughs> in the parking lot. I was so, I was so up. Dude, I will say though, the first round of golf I ever played was like, oh, at a, we got paired with these two guys that were just like these huge hulking like Colombian dudes. And they're like, we're playing from the tips. And I didn't know any better. I was like, okay, whatever, fine. And I actually was able to keep my first golf ball that I ever played with. Thing's pretty sick. So this little nitro with the three dots. Oh, yeah. Nice. So I don't know how I did it, but I kept it. And I, and I played it the whole round. So it's like I maybe, like, I think I dropped one just for – so I knew I was like a tough shot coming up. I was like, it's over water. I'll just put this aside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. So, but either way, so I still have the first one. So, but I've yet to keep one for 18. I've kept one for 17 and I shanked it the last hole. <laughs> and I was so pissed. I was like, I'm going to go find that fucking thing, but it's in the water. We were at this Balboa golf course <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. down in um, the harbor over in downtown San Diego. So it was cool, but nice. oh, it's tough. It's tough. Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.